Hi everyone, this is Andrew Time. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be looking at installing the new Mac OS 12 Monterey beta installer on my M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So my particular MacBook Air 2020 with the M1 chip is currently running Big Sur 11.3.1. I'd like to be able to install the Mac OS 12 Monterey beta, which just released a couple of days ago. And Mr. Macintosh has got a really good resource here. So I'll be leaving a link to this particular article in the description and also to his excellent video, which I'm basically following in this particular tutorial. So I'm just going to show the methods that Mr. Macintosh recommends, and I'm going to show them in reverse order. So the first method I'm going to show is going to be the easiest, simplest method for everyone to use. So the important thing is to come to this article, and I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. And then all we need to do is to scroll down to this section here where we download the full beta installer. So this is going to give us a full copy of the installer, and this is the simplest way to do it. So I'm going to click on this install package, and then this is going to download this particular file. So once the install assistant.pkg is downloaded, I'm just going to double click on this now to open the application. And we're just going to press continue, install, and then type in our password. You'll see that that process has added the install macOS 12 beta into our applications folder. So all we need to do now is double click on the installer. And all we need to do is to click continue, agree, agree, and then install this on the internal Macintosh HD solid state drive. So we can just press continue here and then type in our password. And then this will begin the process of installing the macOS 12 beta. So I do recommend that before you install any kind of beta operating system from Apple, that you do make a full backup of your computer so that you can easily revert back to say Big Sur, which is the latest public release. So make sure that you use the time machine settings to back up the computer onto an external drive and that'll be relatively simple to downgrade back to Big Sur if you really wanted to. So the secondary method I'm going to show you is slightly more convoluted. It uses the seed util to enter the beta program directly. And the main advantage of this is that you'll be able to upgrade to future versions of the beta operating system without having to download the full install package again. You can just install straight from the system preferences. So all we have to do here is to open the spotlight on the top right hand corner and then type in the word terminal. And then I'm going to use this articles command here which is this sudo command in this highlighted area here in this article. And I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to paste this into terminal. And then we're going to enter our password. And then as soon as I have enrolled in the program, I will be able to go to the system preferences and then initiate a software update. And then if I click on upgrade now, it's going to start the standard process of upgrading your operating system completely to the new Mac OS 12 beta. So this is another very simple method of doing it, but this upgrade now button will also download the full 11.78 gigabyte installer. So if you'd like to unenroll your Mac from this particular system, you can copy this command into terminal again, and then you won't be enrolled in the software update and you'll just go back to regular public releases. So I'm just going to quickly demonstrate what happens when you go through the actual Monterey installer. The computer will just go through this update process. So now I've let the computer install for a little bit of time and now the Mac OS Monterey beta is now installed on this laptop. And um, I've just overwritten this over my normal data profile. So it's just done a straight upgrade. I'm just going to type in my password. And then we're going to go through the standard setup screen, which I'm just going to press continue. Then we're going to press to continue on this new App Store section here. I'm going to not log into Feedback Assistant. I'm going to close down Epic Games Launcher. So great, you can now see that I have the Mac OS Monterey beta installed and everything went perfectly fine. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you see any cool new features for Mac OS Monterey, please leave a comment. Tell us what you're most excited about and I'm going to see you in the next video.